we're going to be doing a tutorial within the program known as TopMod. TopMod is an abbreviation for Topological Mesh Modeling. Um, let's start by opening the program. If you need to know where to find this program and where to download it and install, I'll provide a link at the bottom which will show you where and how to do so. Let's see. Today's tutorial is brought to you by trees. They do what they want. Okay, uh, let's start by creating a dodecahedron. It's going to be the fourth, fourth option on the left there. Okay, from there you want to go to the window drop down menu, so remeshing tools, and I'll open that. And we're looking for do saving. Do saving is the 14th option down there. It brings up a dialog, and we're going to push the button there. Perform remeshing. Keep that unchecked. Excellent. Okay. From here, we're going to select some faces. You see we have quads, triads, pentagons. Let's just select pentagons. I'm going to push those out a bit. Um, if you would, Push Shift S, and what that'll do is bring up Select Similar. So then we're gonna, I mean, I'm gonna to, oh, push that once. It selects all the pentagons. Okay. And from there, we're gonna option Cubicle Extrude Mode. I'm gonna change up the settings here just a little bit. Let's go. Let's drop that the length from two to one. Mm-hmm. A rotation of 325. Yes. And 1.1. Scale of 1.1. Maintain segments at 1. Oh, we're going to push that. Extrude selected faces. As you see, it pushes those panels out. That's, that's the result that you're looking for. Don't, don't trip, chocolate chip. We're on our way. Okay, let's do the same thing with the triangles. I'm going to shift S. Do that again. Let's ensure that they're all selected. Okay. And we're going to change up the options in the dialog once again. Let's drop that from 1.5. Let's split that in half. 325 to 4. Uh, we're going to go 0.8 scale, scale of 0.8, and again segments at 1. Push that when you're ready. Yes. Okay. With Shift S selected, which is again, select similar. And we have both. Pentagons and triangles selected. And we're going to keep our cubicle extrude mode. Let's keep the extrusion option open. And then we're going to again change up the settings here. So from 0.5 to 0.2. And there's no rotation. No rotation this time. We're going to scale of 1. Alright. And when you're ready, push that. Okay. From here, we're going to option select edges. The reason we're going to do that is because we want to remove these appendages. We're going to remove the appendages that push these out. Okay. Do so by so click one of those, actually. And then you want to go to selection, drop down menu, and then shift R. Just going to select edges. So you can either push shift R or go to the selection drop down menu and do it. way you're comfortable with. From here things get a bit meticulous, so if you need to pause, you know, do what you need to do. Something to note about this program, um, let's see, is that it is a little bit touchy, meaning that if you if you click too frantically, if you if you you know move too quick with the program, it, 
They could freeze up. Let's just take our time doing this. And you note they're the edges are highlighted in red, obviously. And if you're more comfortable with a different color, um, with your preferences, and colors, let's say you want to do, yeah, let's do green. Why not? Well, green's not doing it for me. Let's see. Back to preferences. Oops. The edge color. So I'm gonna go with something like a turquoise. Teal. Yeah. Electric. It's less intimidating than red. Okay, um, from here we're going to push delete on our keyboard, remove these appendages, That's what we have remaining is the initial shape we created at the beginning, as well as the panels that we pushed out, uh, from there, yeah. let's see, we have edges select, or select edges option still open, I'm going to click one of those, and push the equal symbol on your keyboard, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, let's back that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Okay. I'm gonna remove that. Again, doing so by pushing the delete on your keyboard. things get a little bit more interesting. We're, we're going to want our add handle option selected, our shape interpolation. Okay, and that also that also selects select corner at the same time. And then we're going to change up these settings just a bit. We're going to go, we want four segments. Four segments. Zero. And then, let's go. Drop that down from 25 to 3.5. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so as you see, by collecting the, by connecting the vertices, or selecting the vertices, it connects the two faces. Um, we got the result. Um, from here, I'm gonna have to speed this up. From here, you get the idea. I'm gonna connect those. You don't want to use your intuition just a bit. Get a feel for it. You'll notice which ones that you need to select. And it'll mean trial and error. If you need to back up a bit, again, you can just go to you know, undo, go forward, redo that. Your options are, your hotkeys are control Z, control shift Z to redo.
point, you can see that all the, the faces are selected in place. And then we're going to go back to our do save in option, which is again, there. I'm going to click that once. And it's going to increase the face amount. I'm going to do that one more time. It might take a second. It's just going to smooth out the shape a bit. Okay, there you go. If you want to toggle the wire framing, you can do so by pushing the W on the keyboard. W key. And from here, you can either smooth out your object by again performing another remeshing, or you could do so in another an alternative 3D application. And you just want to save this as an object. Just go to File, Save, Object. And part two, we'll import it and see what we can do from there. Thank you for watching.